Howdy everyone, Mr. Conti here with another problem of the week and this week our problem deals with empirical formulas. You will need your calculator, you'll need a periodic table, and you need to know the empirical formulas, you need to know periodic table, you need to know moles and molar mass, and there are videos for each of these ideas. All right, here's the problem. A molecule is found to contain 47.35% carbon, 10.60% hydrogen, and 42.05% oxygen. What is the empirical formula? So let's analyze it. And we realize that we need to change first the percent to grams. We then need to change the grams to moles and the moles to ratios. And then we can find the empirical formula from there. Let's change the percent to grams. Assume you have 100 grams of the compound, so then 47.35 grams of carbon. That'll give you 10.60 grams of hydrogen and 42.05 grams of oxygen. Now to the blackboard. And we'll write down our amounts. There's all our masses. And let's convert them to moles. And in order to convert masses to moles, all we have to use is the molar mass. And of course, we know that's on the periodic table. So we have 3.943 moles of carbon and 10.50 moles of hydrogen and 2.628 moles of oxygen. Now, let's go ahead and pick out the smallest value there, and that's what we're going to build our ratios off. We're going to take each one of these values and divide it by the moles of oxygen. So. That'll give us 1.5 moles of carbon, and that'll give us 3.95 moles of hydrogen, and of course, one mole of oxygen. But we have a little bit of a problem there. The 1.5 moles of carbon, we want these all to be whole numbers. And so what we can do is we can just multiply by 2, and multiply everything by 2, and that'll give us 3 carbon, 8 uh, hydrogen, 3.995, that's pretty much just 4, and 4 times 2 is 8, and then 2 moles of oxygen. So what's our empirical formula? Our empirical formula is C3H8O2. Yes. Then grams to moles. We determined the ratios and wrote the empirical formula. Not too bad. Remember, if you have any questions, you can send me an email to Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com. And you can check out uh, mrkaziesworld.com. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you go to my YouTube channel, you can look on there. And uh, right over in this area, you will find a place to, uh, I believe, sign up for my Facebook. Happy ions, everyone.